Hi, welcome to The Fearless Father. Today we will be learning how to tie a tie. Um, my mom was the first person to ever teach me how to tie a tie. Ever since then I've learned a little bit, but she taught me the half Windsor knot, which is the knot we'll be going over today. Um, <laughs> this is actually my favorite tie. It's all black, I don't know if you can tell. It has some sort of kind of a, like a geometric curvy design to it. I really like it. And black tends to go with anything and almost everything. You, you can almost not go wrong with wearing black. Um, also, I have worn this tie through different body sizes. Uh, I put on, uh, <laughs> a, let's just say a little bit of weight in the past, I don't know, a couple years. So, um, the way I used to tie it isn't necessarily the same way I tie it now, but uh, the rules are still the same. They don't really change. You can also uh, you also learn how to do it better on your own body style after a couple of times of practice. I will be identifying each side. This is the fat tag. That's what I'm called the fat tag. This side is a skinny tag. Now I like to put the fat tag on my right hand side. That's kind of my easiest way to do it, and that's how I learned growing up. So I take. I take the uh, tie, toss it over my neck, stick the fat tag on the right, and the skinny tag on my left. All right, the way I like to do it now is I like to have the fat tag about, from the, the tip of the fat tag, about six to nine inches lower than my belt line. I like my tie to come uh, right around to the, the belt area, kind of, it can go a couple inches higher or lower, but right around the belt area, that's my favorite space. Um, so six to nine inches past the belt line because that's where you want it to end up. And then you take the right tag and the left tag in your hands. I like to hold them with uh, the thumb and two fingers because those are all the fingers you're going to need. You don't need to grip it. You just be gentle with it. Hold it by two fingers. Now, I take the right tag and I cross over the skinny tag and I hold that junction with my two fingers, like I told you earlier. Don't grip it, just two fingers. Then I take that fat tag, I swing it all the way, all the way around the back, and I, I, I swing it back around. And now this part, do not let go of your two fingers. Swing it right over the two fingers, and take that fat tag, almost like you're going back around, but don't. Come around and under. You wanna stick it under, almost like you're giving yourself an uppercut. <laughs> Then you take that fat tag and just pull it all the way through. We're not letting go of our right hand yet. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. Let me let me do it one more time just to make sure we didn't lose anybody. I'll start over from the jump. Okay, tag is about six to nine inches below the belt line. I cross over. I'm holding the junction. Swing the fat tag around the back. Cover your two fingers, but don't let go. And then bring that fat tag back underneath through. Now I'm going to take the tip of that fat tag. And that's where these two fingers in, in here come in handy. I'm going to take this fat tag and pass it right to my two fingers. And pull it straight on through. Now, sometimes the way you do it, the little tag likes to swing itself off to the side. Just tuck it behind. And then pull that fat tag snug. You don't want it too tight, but you want it pretty snug. I'm going to get a little closer so maybe you guys can see it. Okay. And then now, now that it, it, it's snug and nice, I'm going to reach behind with my left hand, grab that skinny tag, and then grab the knot with my right hand, and just push the knot up. Slide a little bit, push the knot up. Then see now, this is my belt line right here. You see that fat tag? It's hitting perfect right where I want it to be. I'm going to adjust a little bit if I want to come up a little tighter, depending on my collar. Uh, I'm not wearing a collar right now, but depending on my collar. And then right here, that's that's perfect. That's it. Let me take a peek in the mirror. That's exactly what I'm looking for. You can go as tight as you want or as loose as you want. I like to leave it a little loose because I like to get a little loose. <laughs> but no, you bring a nice snug to the neck. You're not trying to choke yourself. You're not trying to hurt yourself. Um, you're just trying to bring it nice and snug. Now, sometimes there is a a band in here that's not the actual tag, but there's a little band where you can stick the skinny tag in. I'm going to tuck it behind this... Uh, behind this band for now. And then that way, you're dancing, you're moving, you're grooving, 
that, that skinny tag not making an appearance. You just got the fat tag showing off all you and your glory. That's it. That's a half Windsor knot for those of you guys who want to Google it and maybe look up, look it up a little bit more. Take it easy.